guess what? I've got even more tips up my sleeve that are going to make your workflow even smoother. So first up, just a quick refresher. So when we're drawing a mask with our rounded rectangle tool, all we need to do is before releasing the mouse button, you can scroll your mouse wheel to adjust the roundness. Pretty simple, right? But here's something I didn't mention last time, and this is great for me because I am a Wacom user, so I don't always have access to my mouse wheel. So what we can do is, while still holding onto our mouse button, we can use the up and down arrows on our keyboard. And that does the exact same thing as with the mouse wheel. It's just going to adjust our roundness, more or less, depending on what we're after. So what if you've already let go of the mouse button and our mask exists, it's here, and we want to adjust the roundness? So what we can do is just highlight two points in a corner and we can either double click or we can right click, go to mask and shape path and then down to free transform points. And now we can scale these points to adjust the roundness. Do this for any corner or get creative with the shapes. Just make sure you scale from the inside of the transform box or you will get some weird stuff happening. So I'm just going back to our original mask. And what would we do if we wanted all of our corners to be evenly rounded, but at a different roundness than we have it currently? All we need to do is open up our mask properties. Then we need to increase or decrease the mask expansion, which in turn increases the roundness. And then we need to double click on our mask and then scale back down our mask so it's back to its original size. Right, I think it's time for a quick bonus tip. So while you're drawing your mask and you still have your mouse button down, or if like me, you've already drawn your mask, all you have to do is then click and hold onto one of the points. And then if we hit the plus or minus buttons on our keyboard, and we will cycle through the mask modes. So we have add, subtract, intersect, and all the other options as well. You can see it cycling through in the drop down on the bottom left. It's a small hack, but every second counts when you've got a pizza in the oven.